I'm Moesha of Makeup Mayhem, vow not to do another haul video for at least the next three months. Hi guys, so today I'm filming a haul video and um, Funnily enough, in my last haul video, I recall mentioning that I wasn't going to do another haul video. I think I should stop shopping for a while now. I've literally bought so much in like the past few months, it's really... Okay, once again, looking at all the stuff, I realised when I tried to film this that there was no way that it was going to be one haul video because it would be like 20 minutes long. So I decided, despite it, I decided that I was um, going to split it up into beauty and fashion again. Um, Comment down below if you prefer that or if you would want to see like a huge haul that maybe was about 15 minutes. So the first product I actually got is from Poundland which is so strange because you wouldn't think that you'd get makeup from Poundland and uh, or I wouldn't anyway and this is the Beauty Formulas Body and Face Cooling Mist and um, it just looks like this. I thought it'd be really cool because I like a while ago um, these kind of bod uh, like face mists were all the rage I remember Codely had like one something like that, it was just like a refreshing cooling mist thing and um, I thought it would be a really good purchase for the summer because um, in the heat you might go outside, you keep this in your bag and you just want to kind of like spray your face to keep you cool. Um, funnily enough, after I bought this it started raining um, every single day um, in England so that's really helpful, thank you. Um, but I have it anyway and it was only a pound so. Next um, I bought some Essence products from Wilkinson's and um, these were completely induced by um, Chloe from Glitter A Little. Uh, I watched one of her hauls, I don't know, her showing the products just really made me want to go and like get, out, get some more Essence products so I did and um, the first I, thing I got was the Essence Blush Up Powder Blush and um, it's in the shade Heat Wave. And it's just the most gorgeous, like, it's like got a gradient effect um, from like a pinky colour to like a peachy coral. It's just so gorgeous and I think it's like great for summer. Next from Essence, I bought the All About Matte Oil Control Powder, um, powder? Paper. Um, and um, I have oily skin and I thought this would be great, especially for back to school because obviously school days are quite long so um, I think it would be a great thing to just like pop in your bag or whatever and then just mattify your face um, throughout the school day. Finally, um, this was a product that um, Chloe actually picked up and it's the All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder and um, it's just a white um, trans parent powder because obviously this isn't my skin tone and um, there's quite a contrast I've used it and I actually really like it I think it's great at keeping you like oil free throughout the day next I went to Superdrug and um, I actually got another Chloe induced um, purchase and this is the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter and um, she was talking about how great this was as a highlighter I think it's super gorgeous because it's like this like peachy colour peachy champagne but it's got these like pink undertones in it and um, yeah I think I prefer these kind of highlighters over um, like golden toned highlighters which are usually known to be better on dark skin, darker skin tones but I don't know I just prefer these kind of shades and next for Superdrug um, I just bought two other products and first is this sleek eyebrow stylus and I've been eyeing this up for a while actually because I've wanted to try this kind of brow pencil for a while it's just one of those ones that have um, a kind of brush on one end and then a crayon pencil type thing on the other end I got mine in dark, obviously, because I just threw it away. It's actually what I used to fill in my eyebrows today, and I absolutely love using it. I think it's so easy to use, and I love um, the look it gives me as well, so I'm super excited to use this more. Next, um, I got this Olay Anti-Wrinkle 2-in-1 Primer um, for all ages, apparently, even though it says Anti-Wrinkle. And um, I literally had no purpose of buying this. Literally when I was going to pay um, for the brow pencil I saw this near the till and it was on half price from like £10 to £5 and I was like yeah I'm gonna try this. I was just I don't know so excited about it being a two-in-one um, moisturizer and primer and um, I thought I could do with another primer because I don't really like the Maybelline baby skin one that much. I think it kind of makes me look quite oily and it doesn't really actually do much for my skin 
So um, I thought I'd try this out, especially it was an, as it was on half price. Funnily enough, I bought almost exactly the same product. Well, not really, but um, I bought another kind of hydration primer thingy. And um, if you watched my product empties, I talked about this. Um, I've had this before. Um, it's the Nivea Daily Essentials Express Hydration Primer. And I talked about how when I was doing that video, I realised how much I liked it. And I was on the Boots website one day and I was looking this up and I realised it was actually on half price. So I thought um, I might as well buy it then because it came down to 250 So um, yeah, I'm super excited about this. And this is the one for normal and combination skin. I actually bought the other one for dry skin, the other one that I used to have. It has the pink lid and I still love that. So I'm hoping that I love this even more because it's more suited to my skin tone. Next I went into Tesco and um, I bought some cake. And along with some cake, I bought this Gillette um, Satin Care Sensitive Skin Shaving Gel. And I don't even know if it's normal to show shaving gel in a beauty haul, but I decided to do it anyway because I'm not really that normal. I've used this before and it's a really good shaving gel and it was on half price. There's a theme going on. I seem to buy things that are on half, half price. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm cheap. Next, um, it was one of my favourite purchases actually, and um, it's from TK Maxx. TK Maxx is quickly becoming bay for me honestly and it's the Orly premium tough cookie nail strengthener and it looks like this and um can we just look at the price tag um it went like rrp is 11.50 and i bought in tk max for 2.99 my nails naturally grow really fast but they get really weak once they grow to a certain length so um I saw this and I was like, yes please. I've just been using this on my nails. Um, I've got it under this nail polish and on top as well. And hopefully we'll see a difference in the strength of my nails. Finally, I went into Primark. I got one beauty thing from Primark and it's this PS Love um, natural like nail thingies. Yeah, it's just a pack of 24 nails. And um, my little sister actually got um, a pack of these like not the exact ones like some blue ones for her year six prom which was super cute i hope to get ready for it and um they're actually so good so i thought i'd pick these up and they're one pound and um i don't know i just bought them a natural because i'm an own natural girl that's all for my beauty portion of this haul like i said um i will um film the fashion portion it'll probably be up maybe the video straight after this or maybe the one not after but the after that one okay I can't talk today, why am I filming a video? I don't know. But um, I will see you in my next video, that is for Saturn. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you later. Peace. Like I was like making a dating profile, like no, I'm currently single. Like.